Captain's blog, May 30th, 2011. It is 16.05 hours and the day before great happiness. Check this out. Kidwell is uh, showing his manly prowess here with a, a Gerber. Check out what you can do with a Gerber. Now, what, what gauge wire is this, Mr. Kidwell? This is a six gauge wire. Okay, so this is a six gauge copper stranded wire, which is pretty, tight, pretty tight. beefy stuff. Now, this is, this is what normal people use to cut six gauge wire. Lineman's pliers. Okay, you know it's minor, proper Klein brand lineman's pliers. Now, Mr. Kidwell, being the rugged man he is, Look at that. You're bigger than 10 men, Paul. Thank you. I remember the fish tape. <laughs> We're not going to talk about the fish tape. Mr. Kidwell once cut a fish tape with a Gerber. Try that sometime. Thanks. You're bigger than 10 men, Paul. Yes. Like someday I'm going to grow up and be just like you. Really? Gerber sponsorship. My goal in life. Really? If I got that much hair at your age, I'll be thrilled. Okay. He's really old. Really old. Really old. All right. We'll be back. Maybe. All right, so it's uh, 1625 hours, and I'm just doing the uh, main power terminations down here. And this up on top, now if you look at this, this is the top um, contactor. This is main input safety contactor. This shuts off all power into the box, okay? And then this is the output down here. But on top of this, now this sat in storage in Keizu for a year. And during that entire time, inside this box, this was all enclosed, there were panel covers on and everything. These top contactors, were always hot at 480 volts. And I was just sitting here terminating these wires right over here, and I looked up and I saw fur. And if you look really closely, you can see that uh, from the looks of it, a raccoon at some point got in there <laughs> and got blasted. Now, we didn't find the rest of the raccoon, but he, he lost a little fur in the deal. So yeah, that's, that's just kind of cool. <laughs> so yeah. Stay out of my high voltage, Coon. You guys have fun, we'll see you later. <laughs> All right, it is uh, 1835 hours, and there is our, uh, we, we've got a, a CL2000 meter that'll hold max amperage. That's, uh, that's our current. You can see up here it's set to current, 199.2 amps, and uh, we still have plenty of variac left to go. So what do you think, yeah, Paul? We were, we were only at about 50%. <laughs> I think we need some more inductive reactants. We, we the, do. Uh, we, yeah. need, we need some 480 volt inductive reactants. Yes, because what we got in there now ain't much of a reactor. <laughs> if you put inductors in series, you get more in reactants, don't you? Yeah. We just series them. Series them? Okay. It'll take like five minutes. All right, you want, do you it. want to give me a hand? Do it, yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, of honor we tripped a 60 amp big breaker breakers reset we, we tripped the big breaker Paul a little 60 amp a little 60 yep. amp 
We're only wired to 60. I thought we had 100 up there. Well, we've got the 100 amp breaker over here that we can use if we want, but we didn't have wire big enough for that yet, so we're only at 60 amps. Well, I need. Because we, I need, we don't want, we want the breaker. I need three gauge wire. wire. When we have three gauge wire, we can upgrade. So if somebody out there wants to donate, um, we need black three gauge stranded THHN, and we need ground. three and a ground. Um, same size and it needs to run 70 feet. So we need 70 feet, three conductors, plus ground. Three gauge, three gauge yes, we tripped the breaker. <laughs>